Here's one for you to try. We're asked to evaluate the integral from natural log of 2 to natural log of 3 of e to the x plus e to the negative x all over the quantity e to the 2x minus 2 plus e to the negative 2x dx. So pause the video, see if you can evaluate this integral. If you're completely stuck, I'll give a hint, but pause the video first to see if you can evaluate this completely on your own. Okay, here's a hint if you got completely stuck on this. This denominator can be factored. How can this be factored? Note that it's of the form a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So with that information in mind, factor the denominator and try again. Okay, let's try this together. Indeed, the denominator can be factored. When you factor it, we can get this thing down to what? Something squared. How about e to the x minus e to the minus x squared? Notice that when we expand that out, we get this same denominator back. So that's a good start. Rewriting the whole integral then gives the integral from natural log 2 to natural log 3 of e to the x plus e to the minus x all over e to the x minus e to the minus x squared dx. Okay, so we solved one problem but started another because now we have to figure out how to integrate this thing. What can we choose to be u such that every aspect of this integrand is essentially covered by the u and the du? How about if we let u be the denominator there that's squared. So not the, not the squared itself, but how, do, how about if we just let it be e to the x minus e to the minus x? Well then du is e to the x plus e to the minus x dx. Right? Notice we could have said du dx and then brought the dx over. That's how we end up with that notation of just du by itself. Okay, well then solving for dx gives du over e to the x plus e to the minus x. So it works really nicely to plug this in here, and it cancels out that entire top. Thus, we get this new integral of du over u squared. And that looks a lot more like something we can integrate without a ton of agony. However, we also need to look at these limits of integration here. I, I prefer to do them as I go rather than integrate and then convert it back to x's and evaluate it that way. Let's just do the limits of integration now. So u of natural log of 2. So I'm plugging natural log of 2 in up here into u. We're treating u like a function of x, essentially. So that's e to the natural log 2 minus e to the negative natural log of 2. Well, when you have e to the negative natural log of something, the technique then is to bring this negative up to here. So this becomes e to the natural log 2 minus e to the natural log 2 to the negative 1. But 2 to the negative 1 is 1 half. So that's the real kicker there. e to the natural log cancel out. Essentially, they undo each other because they're inverses. So what we're left with is 2 minus 1 half, because 2 to the negative 1 is 1 half, which is 3 halves. Okay, the other limit of integration is similar. u to the, let's do a little dividing line here, u to the natural log of 3, sorry, u of natural log of 3 is e to the natural log of 3 minus e to the minus natural log of 3. Well, for the same reasoning gives us 3 minus 1 third. That brings us to 8 thirds. If we do a common denominator of 3 over 3 there. Okay, let's evaluate this integral. So we now have the integral from 3 halves to 8 thirds. So that's already getting a little complicated. Of u to the negative 2 du. Remember the power rule for integrals says to add 1 and divide. So we have u to the negative 1 divided by negative 1. So this is negative, let's see, 1 over u, and that's evaluated from 3 halves to 8 thirds. 
Okay, bring out, clear out a little more room here. This gives negative. I'm just going to leave that negative out front. 1 over 8 thirds is 3 eighths minus 1 over 3 halves is 2 thirds. All right, so we'll need a common denominator, right? Never underestimate fractions. They will keep on coming back to haunt you. 3 over 3, 8 over 8. The so common denominator is 24 there. So this is negative 9 minus 16 all over 24. So that's 9 minus 16 is negative 7, but we have a negative out front. So back to positive 7 over 24. There you go. So certainly a non-trivial integral there.